if I could only eat one from one pizza place for the rest of my life, I think I would have to say it would be Lucali. Why do you think so many people flock here? I'm still trying to figure that out. Why do you think they can work here? Uh, I, I guess I make a good pizza. <laughs> this is Mark Iacono. He opened Lucali in 2006. Since then, pizza fans from all over the world have been flocking to his restaurant, even some celebrities. What do you think is the best pizza in Brooklyn? This is something uh, people talk about a lot. Lucali's by far. Lucali's, okay. Yeah. Every afternoon at 5 p.m., hopeful diners wait in line anywhere from two to four hours to put their names down on the list for the night. They s start taking names at five, they finish around 5.45, and that's it, we're booked. It's definitely worth the wait, it's definitely worth getting there at 4.30, even if you're not going to eat until 7.30. We got here at 4. My buddy Riley planned the strategy out, said you got to get here at 4, put your name in at 5, and so we waited about an hour, more or less. We don't have a reservation policy. We're a really small restaurant. We only have 10 tables. We're open four hours a night. You know, it has to be, you know, one person gets up, the next person has to be waiting to sit down. So what makes Mark's Pizza so legendary? No, I had no culinary experience. It wound up being that, like, I figured it out as I went along. As I went along. Like I said, I had zero experience. You know, I really didn't know the science behind it. I didn't understand, like, yeast and how it worked and the effects it had on the dough and the proofing times. Mark figured out how to make a delicious pizza, and the restaurant's history is just as rich as his food. I was born and raised here. I still live here. I lived here my whole life. And, uh, you know, this, the pizzeria we stand in today was uh, an old candy store that I grew up in, that, I, that my dad would bring me and my brothers here, Louis Candy Store. After Louis passed away, his wife Rosemary put the place up for rent. At the spur of the moment, Mark decided to sign the lease. Since opening, Lucali gradually built a strong base of fans. The first time that I went to Lucali was probably about seven years ago, so I've been eating pizza there ever since. Um, and I heard about it through word of mouth, just people saying, like, you've got to try this pizza, it's the best that you will have in Brooklyn. Well, we don't have much, you know, it's just pizza and calzone. You know, joking around, you know, we, we, we're always, you know, goofing with the customers. Pizza and calzone, leave them alone. That's all he makes. To get a better idea of what makes Lucali pizza so great, I had to step into the kitchen and learn how Mark makes his pizza. Jesus, my pizza making skills are so subpar. You gonna roll dough? I'll do whatever you want uh -huh. me to do. You want a lot of flour, and you want to kind of start almost from the center and roll out. Is there a reason why you use a wine bottle instead of a rolling pin? Yes, because I don't know how to make pizza. As I mentioned earlier, I never made pizza before, and it was the very beginning. I was probably open a week. And, um, and I screwed the dough up. People were screaming at me, they wanted their pizza. I was really slow at the time. I, I, I didn't understand, I was like, why won't it stretch? So I called my brother, I was like, who lives right around the block, and I was like, bring me grandma's rolling pin, hurry up. And he just took forever, so I just grabbed a wine bottle and just started rolling it out with a wine bottle. And, and it just stuck. Does it do anything for the taste? Yeah, it, it, the pies do come out a lot crispier. Sorry, I have the upper arm strength. Put of some a muscle child. into it. Don't put too much thought into it. I think that see, is See, it's my coming answer. perfect. Okay. You're doing a great job. And then, and then, like, spread your hands, hold it up, see what you got. Perfect, you're done. Please. Look, you stretch the perfect dough. You make it look so easy. I, I need thousands of these things. Okay. We'll drop it right in the center. The whole thing. Okay, now with the bottom. You want to just make, go ahead, grab it. You're going to mm -hmm. do a little circle and just look at, like, you know, like you're making a spiral. Push it out. Yeah. After working here a month, your forearms will be like puppets. Yeah, I can't relate. The only working out I do is eating. To, yes. And we just dollop it everywhere? Oh, well, yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not slam dunking basketball. It's <laughs> a so gingerly place yeah, it down. Yeah, just throw it on. That's it, you're done. You did an amazing job. You're so kind. No, no, you really did. You know you did. Yeah, I think it's an even distribution. After that, the pizza goes into the oven and is topped with Parmigiano Reggiano and fresh basil. People have been coming here, and, and, I, and I think because it's so hard to get in here, they have the pizza, and they don't want to waste the experience on a calzone, and like, I'll send the calzone over. They don't order the pizza anymore. Now they just order the calzone. 
to it. So we're going to do a calzone. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to order the calzone? Calzone, a little garlic, and uh, we make a hot pepper sauce that you can put on top. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the eating portion of this video. I never thought that this moment would come. I have tried coming into Lucali's so many times, and I just haven't nailed the tactic yet. I think I need to come a little early. And to have the pizza made by Mark himself is just almost too good to be true. This is everything that I want in a pizza. Good. The crust, it just keeps getting better. Normally, I have something to say after the first bite, but I truly don't want it to end. So I'm gonna talk to you after I finish this slice. It's like just the perfect pairing of flavors. It's truly mind blowing. I am astounded. It's not bad. When you say it's not bad, that's like the, truly the biggest understatement of the year. And to top it off, I sat down with Mark and ate the calzone. I eat out a lot and like, and, and I, I look for ordinary dishes. Like again, this is, pizza is just, it's ordinary to me. But who's doing it the best? Like, you know, I grew up with this, you know, you, you gotta step out of the box. Like I know like everyone plays favoritism to the pizzerias they grew up with, but you need to go out and experience a bunch of pizzerias. And what's amazing about this pie, what was amazing about his pie, and just put it all together and just try to take the pizza to another level. So that's the secret behind the pizza at Lucali. Mark, in my humble opinion, has perfected the pizza, but he sometimes gets a spark for a new idea. This pie I just made is inspiring me to make a new pie. It just got, like the, something, I came up with a great idea. You heard it here first. Mark eats the first slice of pizza and he's like, I got an idea. And now I know. You inspired it. That means so much. Do you like garlic? I'm Korean. Mm. Wait, garlic's big in Korea? Is, are you joking? No, I don't eat a lot of Korean food. I don't know any, I don't know where to go. Okay, that I can share with you. Okay, you gonna take me out for Korean? Yes, All I right. can do that. So I'm guessing that this new idea is gonna have something to do with garlic? I may have to name the pie after you. <laughs> All right, my restaurant is full. I need to get back to work. I think part of the charm at Locali is to wait in the line and really like build up the anticipation of trying this pizza and this calzone. And then once you taste it, you're always going to be wanting it. 